So I'm going back together with the turret. I've got uh, the bearings fit. I've got the clamp cylinder in. The spindle's in with new bearings. The clamp cylinder plate. This housing right here that the Kerbic bolt suit is on. New bearings in this. And uh, the thing with these harnesses, once once you unhook these these leads from the two motors, they're uh, you're not powering the machine up. So underneath the Z-axis weight cover, you can get a there's a plug plug in uh, there's a cap with a plug in it and you can uh, pull that plug out and you can use an eight millimeter eight millimeter uh, Allen wrench and you can move this slide back and forth because you're gonna have to position it back here back towards the back of the machine to get the turret on the tool plate on you're gonna need it back here to assemble the the worm and the ring and the way I do the worm once I get the ring gear in there and the bearings in there what I do is I put I put all of the I put the narrowest part I, I run that housing in the flange all the way down so I got a lot of a, a gap there and I do it without the bearing right here I do it without that bearing in there once I get it mounted the flange mounted the worm gear in there now I moved it forward with my Allen wrench, my ratchet and the eight millimeter. Now I'm gonna put the bearing in and uh, I'll adjust the backlash. I actually have to put the bearing housing on for this gear here. And I always use uh, Kluber or spindle grease. I just, this, this is, uh, this housing right here is filled with gear lube. So I always grease up the bearings and uh, everything with some spindle bearing grease just uh because i'm going to be moving it around checking backlash and stuff before i put oil in it so all right